Hi, Janine here from Gentle Warrior. I'm just here to give you your weekly African Sangoma reading. Um, well, I try to do it every week. Um, in South Africa, we call it the bone reading. Um, this is just direction and guidance from our ancestors as a community. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is a bit of sage. And we rub the sage first to awaken the spirit of the sage. These are um, one of my ceremonial beads that I have from um, my first set of initiations um, as a Zulu Sangoma which I did back home. And one of my trainings was lighting a candle for our ancestors and I was bringing the, the yellow candle for our ancestors. And we use the clear quartz for strength. And then we call on our ancestors, those that are in heaven that love, know, and respect them. That love, know, and respect us. We don't want to be calling on all of our ancestors. We don't have, um, not all of them are very nice. And we ask them to guide us, to show us a message through the bones for the week. This is what's known as the bones, um, although it really does consist of mostly shells, which I got from Africa. There's a lucky bean, that brown one over there, uh, dice, dominoes. We blow in the energy of the ancestors. We awaken the bones. These bones have been through initiation already through the ancestors, uh, through my Sangomas in Africa. And then see if I can give you a look at what's going on. It's kind of how they've landed. And the one that I'm going to focus on today in a reading, if you had a private session, naturally you, I'd be reading all the bones for you and giving you messages from your guides as well, um, showing you your health issues. But that takes 45 minutes to an hour. So we're going to work on just the one shell and this one represents the wallet. Um, and in this instance, the wallet is closed. So we're going to work on the message from the ancestors in that we always have fear of lack. Um, I know it's human nature, a fear of not having money or not having joy or not having enough in our lives. And the message we have for this week is to focus on giving with an open heart because to give with an open heart is when you receive. And I've had people say to me, um, and because it's a message I preach a lot, and I've had people say to me, uh, I, I give all the time, I go to charity, I do this and I do that. But in honesty, is it what you're doing with an open heart? Is it something you love doing? Are you doing with absolutely no expectation back? Because it's when we do that, it's when we find the time for a friend, for somebody close who needs that help. It's when we, we give finances, we give the money to, to a homeless person or to somebody struggling without an expectation of getting that back or without thinking of we lacking even more. It's in those instances that we are giving with an open heart and it's in those instances that we are rewarded. And we do it because we don't expect a reward, but we're given a reward for the good that we have done. And I have um, lived through this time and time again because when we're living in the fear and we're living in, in the worry, that's when we're not getting either because we're focusing on the lack. It's the handing it over. I still go through the fear of finances and I hand that over to my ancestors. I hand that over to my guides because I know that they will provide for me if I'm doing what I am meant to be doing. And if I'm helping, if I'm giving constantly with an open heart, I always somehow have the joy, the abundance return to me. So we thank our ancestors today for the message, for our focus. And you can tune in next week for the message. Um, I am 
working at Amber um, several days a week. If you'd like to know more information, would like to get a reading yourself, then do give me a shout. Um, I can be reached on yourgentlewarrior.com or um, yourgentlewarrior at gmail.com. Hope you have a fantastic weekend and week. Bye.